Hey guys, I've been having so much fun making the DIY craft videos with American Girl, so I decided to do something a little different. I'm gonna be showing you guys my top five favorite crafts. For something extra, I brought back my favorite American Girl outfit because I love these strawberry shorts. Let's go. Starting with number five. This is the doll side soccer field. It was really fun to make because I used to play soccer, so it was kind of just like fun and I kind of just understood everything. Here's everything that you need. A 30 by 42 piece of green felt, some yellow and red foam board, something to trace a circle with, a shoe box with the bottom cut out, scissors, washi tape, a bunch of different heavy duty tapes, netting, and a felt tip marker. First, you're gonna take this white tape, tape the sidelines, and you're gonna have about like a half inch in. This part can be a little hard, so you might wanna have a parent. I'm measuring this before and then cutting it, so I'm doing like a little more than I actually need. So now I just spun the felt, because I'm gonna do it the shorter side. I used to play soccer and I love the sport, so I can't wait to play with the set home. Now I'm gonna make the center line on the field. Do the like corner line. And then you'll do the same for all four corners. Now I'm going to do the goalie box area. First I'm going to do like the bigger box. Do the inner box. Then we have the goalie box. Do the same thing on the other side. Now we're going to do the center circle. So I have my lid, put it kind of like in the middle. Take your felt tip marker and then trace around it. And then you're going to tape around it. So this part might take a little while. We'll just skip ahead. Okay, so now we've finished our soccer field. Did you know in the US we call it soccer, but everywhere else they call it football, which makes more sense because you use your feet in soccer. Now we're going to move on to our goal. Take your netting. I'm actually using an old laundry bag, but you could use like a loop belt or like whatever. Put the mesh down and then I'm gonna put the shoe box on top of it, cut around it, but you want like a little more than what you think you need. Put the netting on top, take some tape and just put some on just to hold it there and it will go around like about half. So I tape the net on like this, and it's baggy in the back because that's how a soccer goal is. Tape all of the edges. I think being goalie is one of the harder positions on the field. Take this more decorative tape, put it like in the middle, like this. Then you're gonna do the exact same thing, but with the red tape. And lastly, you're going to do your blue tape. Now that we're done with the goal, the last thing you have to do is penalty cards. Players can get red cards and yellow cards for breaking the rules. If you get a yellow card, that's a warning, but if you get a red card, it means you have to leave the game. I hope you had as much fun making this fold-up soccer field as I did. Let's play. Number four. So this is the Shamrock Smoothie. I love ordering blended ice drinks from a coffee shop, so this kind of reminded me of it. Here's everything that you need. A small plastic container. These used to be glitter jars. Iridescent pom-poms, red pom-poms, some green paint, scissors, straws, a paintbrush, iridescent gems, glue, and sticky dots. Make sure you have a surface that can get dirty because we will be using paint. So I'm just gonna roll my sleeves up and let's get started. First, take your jars, get a little green paint, and then just paint the sides so you don't have to fill up the whole thing. It will just look like it's filled. Then get some of your beads and just pour a little of it in because they'll spread them up to look like ice. Take your paintbrush and kind of spread them around. I'm gonna shake it so it can get more texture. Next, you pick the length of your straw. And then get your iridescent pom-pom and then your little red pom-pom. The iridescent one's going to be whipped cream and this is going to be a cherry. So then you're going to get your sticky dot, the red one. I'm going to place it on the white one. And then you have your cherry and whipped cream. Next, you're going to put it in the drink, but you're going to glue it around. You don't need to use a lot of glue. And then you just place it on and you're done. If you feel like your straw is too short, you can just pull it up a little because that's not glued down, it's the whipped cream that's glued down. Did you guys know an old Irish legend says that on St. Patrick's Day, you have to wear green? Because if you wear green, you're invisible to leprechauns and they will pinch you. But I think this shamrock smoothie is enough. My favorite thing about making crafts is there's a bunch of materials and then you just all of a sudden make some really cute thing for your doll. Number three, acai bowls. So this one is one of my favorite foods. So it was really fun to make and I suggested this idea. Here's everything you need. Some modeling clay, fake fruits and berries, some beads, 
glue, scissors, some white yarn, two little plastic containers, a mixing stick, and a cork board. So, let's get started. Take one plastic container and then your beads. Pour it in. I have like two different shades of purple because acai berries are kind of like a reddish purple color and they kind of look like blueberries. And they're also super healthy. Take your glue. It looks like I'm using a lot, but you really need enough so it can kind of all stick together. Take your mixing stick, mix the beads. Make sure you put the stick all the way to the bottom so you can get all of the beads. Take your other plastic cup and start pouring the beads out. Press it down and make it more compacted. Take your cork board, get like little bits of it because this will be the granola. Oh. <laughs> now I'm gonna take the little cork board pieces and start putting them down on the beads. I'm kind of pushing them down so it can kind of just like stay there. So next you're gonna take your white string. This is going to be the coconut. Cut like little pieces of it. I am using the end of the stirring stick to kind of just press it in more. Next I'm gonna take the fake berries and then just cut some of them off. And then I'm gonna push the like berries in. Pressing the berries in helps the glue hold them in place. Take your modeling clay. Oh, and then make little circles because they're gonna be like the bananas. Okay, it's okay, I'll just make a new one. I'm gonna take the bananas and I'm just gonna push them into the little berries. This word can be a little hard to pronounce. You don't like pronounce it the way it's spelled, but the real pronunciation is acai. You can customize your bowl and put any of your favorite ingredients in it. This bowl looks so good, I can't wait to eat a real one. The hardest thing is cutting the circles because I'm just really like not good at them. The edges make it look like it's like a square. This just does not work and it takes me like five times just to make one circle. Number two, earth organizer. So I have a lot of American Girl doll accessories. So this was a very fun craft to make and now I have a place to store all of them. Here's everything that you need. Some different sized cardboard tubes that you can find around the house, sticky dots, some paint, and some sponge brushes. Let's get started. Starting with the inside, paint the tube any color you want. When I'm painting things, I like to start with blue because it's my favorite color. And then you may want to do a couple coats. Paint the outside. You can use whatever tubes you have around the house. Potato chip tubes or toilet paper tubes. You may want to cut the tubes down just to make them a little smaller, but if they're a little hard, then you can just ask for help. You can paint the tubes whatever color you want. I'm doing green for plants, blue for the ocean, and purple for sunsets. Finished painting the tubes, now it's time for the AG DIY magic. Now that you have all the tubes painted, you kind of want to play around with the shape that you like. So when you're placing them all together, I like to have two of the bigger ones on the bottom. It will like be easier to stand up and it won't fall over. And then you're just going to put your sticky dots on. What's great about this upcycle room decor is you can turn it into a shelf, or you can put it on a wall, or you can really do anything with it. So I think I got it. So you can see how the purple and the green are kind of the base and it can stand up more. So now that we're all done, I'm going to take out all the accessories and things I'm gonna put in here. First are these slippers, a bag, some sunglasses, a little phone, this ruler, this camera that takes a picture, there's some books, and then there's more stuff in this bag. It fits a lot of stuff. A bunch of plants that you can just find at your craft store. You can even find the plants from outside. You can put these plants in the shelves, on the shelves, or wherever you like them. I love this shelving unit. You can really put it anywhere in the room, and I love the little plants. They're adorable. Number one, drum roll please. The box of chocolates. Because it was really fun to make, it was really cute, and I love chocolate. Here's everything you need. It's air dried clay, styrofoam, toothpicks, pearlized paint, red, pink, and white, one fourth of a teaspoon, three little jars, two paintbrushes, three craft paints, white for white chocolate, brown for milk chocolate, and a dark brown for dark chocolate, scissors, this little heart box, a bunch of stickers, some sticky dots, this really fun glittery tissue paper, a bottle cap, and a pencil. 
This craft might get a little messy, so make sure you cover your surface with something that you're fine getting dirty. I'm going to roll my sleeves up since we're going to be painting. First, you're going to take a little bit of the clay, and then you use the 1 4th of a teaspoon just to make sure you get a good size, and then add the clay in the teaspoon until you get it full. Now that's added, you can take it out. It can be any shape you want. You can make it into a different shape or you can just keep it in this little half circle. And then I'm going to take a toothpick and put it in the clay and stick it in the styrofoam. And then you're going to do that again, but you can make different shapes. This time I'm going to make it into a square. And then you take the toothpick, put it in, put it in the styrofoam. Did you know white and milk chocolate are made of the same ingredients, except white doesn't have the cocoa? Make sure you let the chocolates dry according to the package. Now that they're dry, it's time to paint. So I have these three different craft paints. Pour a little bit of paint into each container. I'm going to have white chocolate for this circle one. The toothpick is really helpful because it keeps the chocolate in place and you don't get paint everywhere. Now that they're all painted, I'm going to wait for it to dry. Luckily, I already have another set that's already dried. So now that we have the dried ones, we can just add some little decorations to the top. You don't need to use pearlized paint for all of them. I'm going to use a sticker for this one. These look great. I'm going to set these aside and start making the box. So you can use any type of shape you want. So I'm going to use this heart box and I'm going to decorate it. So you can use stickers or paint. I'm going to do like a heart on top. I'm going to set this aside while I make our candy wrappers. So you just need tissue paper and you can use any color, a little like bottle cap and a pencil. I am going to use this folded so I can get more circles out of it. You can cut as many as you need. If you have more chocolates, then you can cut more. Now that my chocolates are dry, I'm going to get them out. And the sticky dots take a little circle and then the chocolate that you want. So I'm using this chocolate and then I'm taking it off the toothpick. And then I'm gonna get the sticky dot and then I'm gonna put it on the circle and put it in the middle of the paper. And then I'm gonna kind of put it around the circle and I put that aside and do another one. Once you have a few of your chocolates done, you can start putting the chocolates in the box that you decorated. And then you just take one of the sticky dots, the chocolate that you want, and then just sticks really well. Keep adding the chocolates until the box fills up. Luckily, I already have a box made. I love this mini box of chocolate. It's a perfect Valentine's gift for your dolls. It's okay if you mess up. I mess up all the time. I cut my toast really weird. Oh. Mm -mm. Wait, what's my line again? It's gonna one side and then it goes slanting down. That might be a slight problem. Like you can just put a peep, oh. Oh, it's kind of dripping. Wait, what's the glue for? How do I cut it then? Wait, how is it? Oh, oh it's like, a, what's it called? I don't think I'm doing it correct. Here's where you, ooh. But it always ends up looking good and it's okay to ask for help. Thanks for watching my top five favorite crafts. Stay tuned for what comes next. Bye.